Good morning. Welcome to the Stamper Studio. My name is Lisa Schmid and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming from you, coming to you from Little Falls, Minnesota in our new The Refuge Little Falls. So we are in the process of opening a retreat center. So for scrapbooking or women's retreats or quilting or couples, couples or I guess men, I don't know. <laughs> Do men go on retreats, Dave? Yes. Okay, yes, men's retreats. <laughs> Anyway, um, it is a beautiful sunny day outside. Let's see, the temperature, 18 degrees. I have to tell you, when I lived in California, never looked at the temperature ever. Like, oh, it's always 70 and sunny. And here I look at the temperature every day because the fluctuation is so great. Anyway, that was one degree yesterday. It was 40 the day before, <laughs> not 40, 30, 32 the day before. Anyway, um, so this morning, I'm excited to show you a stamp set that is super, super near and dear to my heart and uh, to Dave's heart, too. And that is called sea turtle. So we were in Hawaii last summer and we went swimming with sea turtles and I learned a new... Which we've done before. We have done before, but I don't think I've ever seen them that close. Mm. And um, they said to us, sea turtles don't have good eyes. So as they're swimming and they're coming up, you have to get out of the way. So here I see, a, a, we're snorkeling, and I see a sea turtle is coming towards me. I'm like, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. And it just keeps coming towards you because I guess they can't see. Anyway, super fun. We saw mom, mom, several moms and babies, and oh, it was just so, so amazing. I and mean, that's one of our favorite things to do. So let's get started. So here is our stamp set. It's called Sea Turtle. Us, the sea turtles but and this is a little deceptive because it does say it's at 60 percent so this is the size of the whole sea turtle it's a big it's a big dude first stamp i can't see on your hand it's a little clear um yep, right there on the okay table is better. so there's the sea turtle so this is at 60 percent so just morning, Cheryl, Mar War morning mary joe wow <laughs> so and then there's a baby we've got some starfish we've got some um cool ocean yeah and some seaweed i guess or i thought if you turn it that way could it be like ocean i'm not sure and then some sand dollars and some fish which are really really fun so this morning i am going to do a watercolor and this is the one i'm gonna make okay Ooh, give me your oohs and ahs uh, i was like what i was just playing with it and i i thought it was really great and the thing one thing i thought could pop it up is if I stamp this again and popped it out. This one is using our watercolor paper, Stampin' Up's watercolor paper. And people say you can also stamp on the shimmery white as watercolor. So that's what we're gonna try this morning. This is watercolor paper, but I'm gonna stamp on the shimmery white. And I thought I had a pad, but I guess I- All sorts more people, this one? No, 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 a pad just put under the photopolymer. Oh. That's okay, something else gotcha. to add to the list. Every week we, we have leave. a lot of more people <laughs> signing in. Morning, Patty, Sandy, Diane. Welcome, everyone. Okay. So I'm going to stamp the bottom of the turtle. We're going to try this part first. And this, as you see here, this stamp set has a solid and the design, but the solid is just the back of the stamp. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Check this out. Brand new blocks. Brand new blocks. So we're going to stamp the side that is um, solid, the background in pear pear yeah. pizzazz i was just making sure i debated between old olive and pear hey barb but we're going with pear all right so let's stamp that there that's our background or underground layer one Ooh, ah uh, the shading the shading then we're going to flip this over and Sorry, I see something on there I don't want on there. It will show up on the stamp. So I'm going to flip that over, and then I'm going to use Mossy Meadow. So the Mossy Meadow just as a darker color on top. So let's ooh, stick it on a little better, though. Get that on there. Oops, that side is not the side we want. This is the side we want. There we go. Okay, yeah, it's a new block. I don't think that's why. I think I just didn't stick it on because who knows what. Anyway, we're using Mossy Meadow, so it looks well covered. I'm happy. I look. I feel good about that. And I'm going to go back to here and go right on top, as much as I can, right on top of what I just stamped. That's the nice thing with the clean rounds. It's for yeah. 
Photopolymer. 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 Yes, that's the one I'm looking for. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, I'm so excited about our turtle. <laughs> now, um, what I'm going to do is I actually cut out a turtle because I want to put some water behind him. And so I'm going to, let's see, I did cut out, a, here it is. So I cut out a turtle to use as a mask. And this is where I'm going to need a little paper behind. So I am going to go off the paper. You're thinking, well, you haven't done any watercolor yet. That's okay. I will. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm using a, pool, a Coastal Cabana. You know, sometimes I go back and forth between Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay. But I thought Bermuda Bay would be too, too um, dark. Yep. So these are my bubbles. Speaking of bubbles, did you know when Dave was in Hawaii, he worked for Don Ho. <laughs> Don Ho. I did, work, I did work at the Don Ho show for, oh, I don't know, six months. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to take, um, I have it here, but maybe I'll need to use what my Gisella, my watercolor brush. It was here. I know I packed it when I pulled it out of my container. It's right here. All right. Thank you. I'm going to use my watercolor brush and Stampin' Up! We have um, three. This comes in a package of three. This is the small and then there's a medium and then there's a wide brush. And I liked this one the best. And what I'm going to do is just while it's still inky, I'm going to kind of go over this a little bit. And the other thing you can do is actually add some water here first. So let's try that just to see. Um, that's how real watercoloring works, right? They put water on first real and the green is um, floating over there I'm okay with that because it's watercolor it's not going to be perfect but I wanted to show you the difference of doing it ahead of time Ooh, I actually really like that and doing it after let's do that again don't you think look at that I love it all right so let's go ahead and get this all wet so the water painters come in a pack of three different brushes and they're three for thirteen dollars okay and now what I'm going to do is hold my turtle and actually just fill in the sides. Thank you, Dave. And I'm going to fill in these white spots after. I'm not we're concerned about that. I just want to get the whole thing really filled with ocean. Ocean. And this ocean, you can tell, is not the Atlantic Ocean. It is, well, wait, in Hawaii, is that the Pacific? Yes. It is the Pacific Ocean in Hawaii because it's so beautiful and blue. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit of a stretch, but. All right, so just kind of stamping all over. I'm going to leave this here, and I'm just going to kind of blend some of this in. And I know I'm picking up some of my turtle, and I'm okay with that. But the other thing, let's get some of this blended here. I'm going to do is I put, um, you can squeeze together. You can take this and squeeze it together. And if that if it's too hard or you can't get some ink on the cover, you can take your refill and put a little ink in there, which is what I did on this one because I squeezed it first. I did not, not much of the ink took so i then added some ink there so i'm going to use that just to fill in some of this white space i know it makes me feel so artistic <laughs> which uh i can be artistic with stamps but not so artistic with uh pen and or paintbrush all right so you just do that as much as you want oh i really like that over there to make our little let me get a little Okay, we'll take this off and see. We might need to add some more. Oh, yeah, definitely need to. I don't want that shadow, although I guess it could be one, but I don't want that shadow there. So I'm going to pick up a little more ink and fill that in. Now, if we weren't trying to do this live, you could, like, put your mask down, do all your watercolor, and then stamp your turtle. But you'd have to oh. let the paper dry first. You still wouldn't want the water behind it, though. Oh, no, put your mask down. Like, you put, did say that. Put yep. the mask down and then yeah. stamp. All right. Now well, that as, wouldn't work for live TV because then we'd have no, to wait for it to dry. Live TV. So um, this over here, I want a little more bubbles there. So I'm gonna just put my little mask back on and just add in that one little spot a little more bubble shape. Same maybe up here. I want a little more. Oh yeah, I think so. A little more bubble there. So you can you can't really have too many bubbles or too much water. All right. I'm just going to fill in a little bit more here. Doesn't it feel artsy? It feels artsy to me. <laughs> That's too funny. You don't think it feels artsy? No. No. Well, it does to me. No more than your regular stamping. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? 
Okay, so that worked well on the, I think it worked pretty well on the um, shimmer paper. I actually preferred the watercolor paper, not going to lie. The watercolor paper is much more porous and it's thicker and it really absorbs that ink more, but the shimmer paper is a good uh, second go-to. If you have shimmer paper, it'll work just fine. Yeah, and then to clean these, you just kind of brush it off. It's done. All done. Put the cap back on. Oopsie. So um, there we go with that. And I am going to put it on. So this one I put on pear pizzazz and then on white. And I decided on this one, what if we try it on the darker and then look, put a layer of white behind it like that, just to give it, I don't know, try something different. So let's go ahead and adhere that once I find my adhesive runner. Okay. I don't really, it's right in front of my nose. I don't really have that many supplies here. So I'm like, how can I lose things? I barely have anything. But here we go. So let's stick this on our mellow moss paper. I really do want to get it in the middle though. We were just saying this morning, we kind of want to, this is sort of a makeshift studio and we really like to get our studio studio where it's going to live and stay set up. But probably not this weekend. No. <laughs> we have a lot to do this weekend. But we have friends to help us this weekend, so that's fun too. All right, there we go. And then uh, maybe just a sentiment down here. On this one, I cut something out and stuck it on a little thanks. But I was wondering what if I just stamped in Memento black. What do you think? Maybe oh, right here to just put a little sentiment. Sure. So give it a try. You never know if you don't try, right? And this is dry already. Dry so yeah, dry-ish. Yes. With that little hay there. This hay there, I used it. I think I used it last weekend. It comes from this charming sentiments, which is it has everything, which is what I really love about it. It is um, made by a million dollar salesperson, Mary Fish. And I actually in this did this because there are so many words I just couldn't figure out and dies. I couldn't figure out what went together. But in addition, there's also these extra pieces. So there's lots and lots in this. And then there are all our words. I just felt like it was hard to see, hard to know where they were. So that is helpful. And that is called charming sentiments. This is my favorite, actually wishing you the happiest of birthdays. I think it's that little banner. I'm going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I also like the thank you. And I also love the faith over fear. So woohoo. Okay. Just forget it. I like everything <laughs> in it. There we go. Can't pick one. All right. Let's go ahead. And I'm so glad this is photopolymer. But if I stamped it and I was like, oh dear, that didn't work. That's okay. You just take a little piece of paper and put it right on top. Art stock, stamp it and put it on top, which is probably what I did over here. Actually, I know I did. I stamped the thanks. Oh, we need some bubbles. I stamped the, uh -oh. I stamped the thanks and then um, it got a little line in it. So yeah, I maybe, I'm not sure. I maybe like that one a little more because it pops out a little bit more, but let's go ahead. I don't know if you noticed in this one, his little bubbles up here. I just thought, you know, you gotta have something popping off the page. And this is the adhesive backed milky dots. And I thought this lighter color up here would work. I'm going to pause a second and show you where the turtle came from because I kind of jumped right in. I was so excited about my turtle. Can you close that ink pad for me? Thanks. So this um, comes from the mini catalog. Notice this is my copy for here. So excited about that. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. And I used um, our sea turtle right here. And so that is, and I love that, you know, clearly states how it's got the double side and we've got some um, little designs here that you're little car some cards that you could follow or I always love that about this. So that's where the sea turtle came from, but the gems actually come from Regency Park right here. So this is the Regency Park suite. And I just thought, oh, those are fun. And what are those called again? The gems, is that what you're asking? Yeah. Adhesive backed milky dots. They are on page 31. All right, so really, oh, here it is. I'm like, I know I have one of these this week. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab some of these little dots and I was thinking the bubbles get smaller as they go up, correct? Or they get bigger? 
I was thinking they get smaller as they go up. So yeah. I think they go whichever way you want them to go. I want them to go this way this time. <laughs> and you could pop some others around, but what do you think? What are some comments there, Dave? I'm yep. curious, like, what do you think about the... Wow, beautiful, really like this card. Yeah, so this one you can see, I think you can see. Can you see well here? I hold them up like that and hold oh. them still. This one definitely has um, the darker, had a little bit more of the water color on it. Oh, yeah, because of the watercolor paper. Because of the watercolor paper compared to this one. I like them both. I think this one, I like the clear, but mm -hmm. anyway, I just thought it was super cool. I was very, very excited. And obviously to send this card, we have to stick a little piece of paper inside. Now, before we stick that inside, what if we stamp our little baby turtle? What if we stamp the little baby inside? Or we could stamp some fish or let's see, where do we want? I'm going to put him here. I think I want to stamp him a little bit off the paper. So it looks like he's just coming in. So we're going to stamp him down here like that. And maybe just the front side and maybe just the detailed side. I don't need the whole background. I always like when you open it up, you know that, and there's a little surprise inside. So let's go ahead and we'll stick this in. Ugh, love, love, love sea turtles. Love sea turtles. They are just fantastic animals. Are they animals? I guess they're animals. Okay, so there we go. What do you think? It's kind of fun, different. <clears throat> I just think it's a really different card. Okay. Yes. You may. Yep. I have a few things to talk about. Let me okay. just switch over from where I'm at. Okay. So we have some things coming up. One of which is. All right. So you know that the 15th is the deadline to sign up for Card Kit, our monthly card kit that you can sign up for. Um, the 15th is the deadline, but we are going to extend that deadline through today because we are going to put in our order. So we're going to give you just today if you haven't signed up yet because this month's card kit features um, playing in the rain. Just a reminder with our card kit, when you order the card kit, you will get the stamp set. So in this month, it'll be playing in the rain. So cute, so fun. So cute. Um, in addition, you will get all the materials to make three amazing projects. You will get a video tutorial that guides you through making those projects. We always throw in some extra products along with your supplies, so that's always a fun surprise that you get. Mm -hmm. And we give you the option to add on some additional products at no additional shipping. So this month, um, we have a number of coordinating products that go along with the stamp set and the projects that we're making that you could add on as your um, added bonus. Again, pay no additional shipping, so 11% savings. That's a big so, savings. So that's great. So that is order by today. Go to the stamperstudio.com. As for all things, click on the monthly card kit, and you can sign up. You can order that. The other thing we have coming up is Card Cafe. It's already next week. Can't oh believe my goodness. that. <laughs> um, card Cafe next Saturday. Card Cafe is where you can come in person to the studio. Um, you get to make 10 cards. You pick five of our designs, make two of each, and you walk away with 10 beautiful cards. We've been, a number of people who come to that have been sharing, you know, oh, I sent it to my friend for this or my husband for that. Um, but Card Cafe next week, um, you need to sign up by Wednesday. So we make sure that we have enough supplies for everyone for Card Cafe. Um, but again, happening next Saturday from 10 to noon in the studio in Minnetonka. Yep. And you might not send it to your husband. You might just give it to him. But that's... <laughs> And the other thing I want to say about the card club or card kit, excuse me, card kit is if you order the extras, that pushes you over to get a free item. Exactly. So because we yeah. So that'll push you over to get something free. Celebration um, just running through the end of February. So yes. It is fast approaching that. Oh, my gosh. Um, the end of that. <laughs> the other thing I will say is sometimes um, items in the celebration catalog run out and then you won't have an opportunity. So if there's something you've had your eye on, I would definitely put your order in very soon to make sure you can get the items that you want that are in that promotion. And there also are additional um, items for celebration. So you'll be able to see those on the website. Okay, exactly. I am ready. This was my, um, I saw a card made with the, I was gonna say weasel, but it's not a weasel, it's a otter. otter. And that just made definitely me- Definitely not a weasel. No, it's not a weasel, I love otters. Uh, made me think of this stamp set. And so I thought, oh, let's try it. Let's try it. So what we're going to use on this one 
is we're going to use, let me just set that aside for a second. We're going to use these, um, uh, I think they are called, I want to say diorama. Let's just take a quick peek here and see. Layering diorama dies. So there are several, seven dies, and they obviously layer, but they're different shapes a little bit. So it just kind of looks like a pond in a way or water. I don't know. I just think it's really fun, and it would be, I thought it would be a fun one to use for this. So I previously die cut out our shapes, which are probably right in front of me. Here they are. So I previously die cut out some, some shapes, and I also um, ran them through using, ran them through the Big Shot, not the Big Shot, the Big Boss, using this um, embossing folder. So this one is the stripes and splatters, because I thought the splatters kind of look like water. So I die cut it out, and then I ran it through the splatters, okay? And these are made for the mini boss because they'll fit through that, but you can also use them in the big boss. So I, I'm going to show you my thought process and where I started because I think that's kind of fun sometimes to see how things evolve. So I'm going to have white, my, I have thick white cardstock, just our standard size with my <clears throat> new bone folder. Yes, look how white that literally just opened it like five minutes ago. Look how nice that is. So I'll take, I'll take this one back home. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at over the years. <laughs> it's all good. Um, and then I'm going to put just a basic white cardstock. I did cut it in. So this is now three and three quarters by five, three, three and three quarters by five. So I went in a half inch on each one. This is where I started, but this is not where I ended up, but I want to show you anyway. So this is using Knight of Navy. And then this piece is our in color, um, sparkle paper so i thought oh that'll be fun and then i kind of went a different direction and thought well what about pool party so then i thought oh i, I kind of like the pool party better because i wanted to use this paper Ooh, ah uh, let me show you what that is so that paper look at this you know my affinity for shiny things so that paper my catalog here that paper is the desert delicate deserts in our mini catalog here in our spring mini and I dog-eared the corner and it is right there yep so the um dry brush metallic specialty paper so it comes you get four sheets two of each this one is more of a coral color and this one is definitely more of a oh this says Cajun craze rose gold to me it looks a little bit coral this one is um I can't see it quick enough. It, that doesn't seem like petal pink. No, that's in this one too. Anyway, this one is pool party with some beautiful gold. Also, look at that pool party, this blue. Ah, oh, let's just make it shine for you. <laughs> so I thought that would be really fun to put right here. And in this space, I'm going to put a little turtle. turtle. Now, the decision comes, Dave, I need your help on this. I'm going to put a little turtle and some fish. But the little turtle, do we want him to be green? Or I did bring crumb cake and granite gray, thinking maybe a browner color turtle. What do you think? Mm. Didn't, couldn't actually. I, I am don't partial know. to green sea turtles. Okay, so we'll go with the green. I'm going to flip that over because, again, I just want it, um, I want to use that in that little space. So Diane asked, you know, you know how you showed doing the background on one side of the stamp and then the detail on the other? And she said, couldn't we do that with all of our stamps? And the answer is not quite, because not all of them are trimmed in a way that would really show that background the right way. Sometimes they have a little bit wider background on them, and so they don't line up quite as well to do the two-sided um, photopolymer stamping. Some would, some just randomly, but some sets like this one, are specifically designed to be able to do that. So they really go in and they make them um, exact yeah. so that you can get more of a trim there. I see that. Well, I was like, sure you can. Oh, yeah, no. Because if you even, I don't know if you can see that. So if you look here, it's trimmed really close to that fish, whereas the words have a little bit of a gap there. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. You could do a shadow with almost all of them, but the ones that are trimmed for detail work really well as the background. Nice. Good answer, Dave. 
Okay, so I've got my background side here that's going to go in pair, pizzazz, and um, I didn't, uh, let's get rid of this lower layer because we don't want that there. I didn't quite figure out yet how I'm going to stamp it without, I think I'm just going to eyeball, so I'm going to stamp my background like here because I kind of want him coming in and move that and stamp it. I'm going to trust myself. <laughs> Worst case, you know what, the paper has two sides, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, so, and again, it got stuck to the pad because I, it's because it has ink on it. I don't want to push on it. I'll just use the back side of the paper. I won't be able to see it. Okay, so there's our darker color right on top of our little, he's so cute. He is. He's so cute. It's a little off, that's okay. And this, look at how funny he is. Okay, and then I'm going to put some fish in there, not in blue. But I'm going to stamp the fish back in that coastal cabana, I think. Or maybe, what do you think? I don't want to get too many colors in. Crumb cake, maybe? What do you think, Dave? I kind of need your advice here. Crumb cake or coastal or cabana fish. for little fish coming oh, in the background? Cabana. Coastal cabana. We don't have brown fish. We have beautiful tropical fish. We being in Hawaii? No, we being just. And the, the fish are going to be floating this way. So again, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to move that out of the way, pretty much trust myself and save it. Okay, so we've got our little fish there. We've got our little guy. I just thought that was kind of fun. It doesn't, I mean, it looks yeah. like that. Do you think it needs some bubbles? Probably does need a little bit of blue behind it. Maybe. Yeah, it feels like it needs a little, either bubbles or maybe I'm just going to use, um, this is now regular white paper. This is not basic white. This is not watercolor, so... We'll see. Let's move this out of the way and just just kind of give it like a let me say a wash. I really think with those um, layering dioramas, it kind of looks like you're peering through the coral yeah. reef and you Love see it down below. Dave's a writer, can you tell? <laughs> yeah, I like that. It just adds a little bit of the let me pick it off off the edge here. I want a little bit. It just adds a little bit, that might be too much, a little bit of watercolor -y, the ocean, the, the water, the bay, Hanama Bay. No, that's not where turtles would be. No, no. too many people. Too many people is right. Okay. We have some friends on the big island right now. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, I like that better. Let's go ahead. I'm going to stick this one all the way down and then I'm going to shocker pop up. Okay, I made a whole card. I didn't use dimensionals. Just saying. I know that usually surprises you. We're going to stick this one. We are 28 minutes in. And we're just good <laughs> that is a new record. That is for so sure. So I'm going to stick this right here. And then this one I want to, I do want to pop up using my mini, whoops, sorry, that was a big block that just made that noise, using my new mini dimensionals. I'm going to use my take your pick to pick them up because these are pretty little. And that is the easier way to get them up. And oopsie, move that off. Going around the bend. There we go. Keep going. Oops, that's just the lid. <laughs> the top. Go to bigger spots. And when I saw this, um, I didn't order it right away because I didn't notice it. And then when I noticed it, I'm like, what the heck? I missed it. Sea turtles. I know. I love, love, love the sea turtles. So, okay. Brings me right back to Hawaii until you look outside where you see the snow. Do I get all those off? There's that one. Here's one. Turn this around. I see one here. There we go. Any others? Yep. One more right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop that on right here. Are any of you wondering how I made that? I don't know, maybe you know, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So a way to make, the way I die cut these is, at first I thought, let me pull out the right dies. It's not the big ones. It was this one, that's the inside, yes. The next one bigger is this one, that's the outside. So if you die cut, a piece of paper, cardstock, designer series paper like this, lay them down at the same time, run it through, you'll get this nice little frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing I at first didn't do, but then changed my mind and redid. 
this originally I die cut that there and the bigger one, the bigger, this one right here, die cut this one here. Problem with that is once I layered this on top, I could kind of see underneath, you can see the white. So I didn't want to do that. So I took this one out, put the little one in. I hope you're following me yep. and die cut it out like that. So that's the same, you use the bigger size of your smaller frame. Nope, the smaller size of the smaller frame, the oh, inside. Got it, got it, got it. So then yep. this actually has something to sit on that is part of that paper also. Yep. And then I didn't see the white underneath. So right. anyway, I do like- makes sense, keeping your most focused circle. The sure. Same. So, and I do really like, um, I don't know, I thought that um, desert painted brush was really fun. So let's put that on a card. Oops, I have one more thing to add to it. And that is our sentiment. And I was thinking of using, hey there, hey there. Every time I say that, I think of that song, hey there, you're the rock star. I have no idea why. I don't even know the rest of those words. <laughs> but hey there, let's just stick it. Oh, did I use that on the other one? I did. did. That's okay. That's how I like Well, hey there, and I kind of want it low. Put your head back just on it. Well, I can't see. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough space there. So I don't know if I want to put that there because it's going to go on that. I'm going to put it on the inside. Pay. What? Hey. Oh, I could just do hey. Okay. I will just do hey. But doing just hey, I am going to put it on a little piece of paper because here's what we're going to do. I'm going to stamp just the hey and just trim that out. I like that. And I'm going to actually cut it sort of cattywampus so I can get that. Um, little angle of the one. Yes. Did I just cut your card base? Yep. Yes, you probably did. This is going to go right there. Oh, well. Okay. I'll put it on. Flip it over. I will. And then I'll put this on one more. That's fine. Okay. I'm still going to cut out the hay. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. You know, that's the thing live about doing I, oh, <laughs> That's yeah. what I was going to say. Live video. When you're doing it live, you can't go, oh, wait, let's go back and redo that. That's okay. And it's okay because you make mistakes. We all make mistakes, and that's how it comes out perfectly wonderful. I do like that. I just want a little bit less of an angle. All right. Hey, this could even sit right in there. What do you think? No. No, on the outside. As soon as I said that, I thought, oh, no, on the outside. All right. So we'll just put this here. Hey. I like that a little bit better because I feel like the other one was going to go over the – Yep. Pool party, and then it would not show up as well. And then I take my cardstock right here. Look at that. <laughs> Just <don't open> it. <laughs> I'm not going to open it. And I'm going <laughs> to. It works. It works. And I'm going to put this right here. And some of you are saying, well, now what are you going to do with that? Yep. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that is okay. So. There we are. I Are thought it was kind of fun. Twine, well, I sort of, um, I did bring this twine because I really like this twine. It's the three twine combo pack. What an original name. <laughs> and I had been looking at this for the other one, but then I decided, mm, I didn't think it really needed it. So no. you could, yeah, it's, good. it's got enough. So that's what my thinking was. All right. So there is my friend, the... Turtle. Carol said the hay is especially funny because we sort of have a little peak hole that we're looking through with the turtle. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey there. All right. So there is, that's all I made today. There are turtles. Aren't they fun? I'm excited to use the sand dollars. And um, do you, can you find sand dollars in Hawaii? I've never seen them there. No. I've seen them in Florida. I don't think I've ever seen a sand dollar in Hawaii. Okay. Well, clearly somebody who made the stamp set. Well, maybe there's sea turtles in Hawaii, in Florida. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We okay. went and saw one get released. In Florida. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Anyway, make sure you sign up for Card Club. Remember, you do get um, the stamp set. No. Sign up for Card Kit. Today is the last day to sign up for Card Kit. Thank you. Make sure you sign up for Card Kit, Rain or Shine. I've got some darling cards to make for you. You do get a video that you can watch at any time to assemble them. And then um, next week, Card Cafe. Don't miss it. It's so fun. Try to think, what can we use our little turtle for? We might use him. So uh, other than that, have a great Saturday. Like the page, share it with a friend, tell people about stamping and spread the joy. Anything else, Dave? That's All right. Happy stamping, friends.